Strong communicators make strong leaders. If our students are able to use the spoken word and the written word um, effectively and artfully, they will be much more likely to convince their peers and um, others uh, about the legitimacy of their ideas. So the process of teaching leadership, I think, fundamentally starts with a student's ability to see themselves in a position of leadership. And I always say to the students, if you don't see yourself um, being able to, to do that, don't worry, I will believe in you until you can believe in yourself. Knowing the individual student is key to connecting them with the right opportunities that will help their academic program move into the next realm, which is their career field. And we do that at Bethany better than anyone else. Leaders oftentimes are tasked with taking information um, in one way or another, processing it, thinking about it, deciphering it, and having to make the decision about whether or not it's good or bad, useful or not. And as students practice the skill of close reading, they are better able then to, to decipher right, what those texts mean, how they're important, why they're valuable, why perhaps they should be ignored or paid attention to. And that skill, to be a close reader, to be able to decipher information in that way, um, is a necessary one for good leadership. Our specialty at Bethany is really meeting a student where they are and taking them from where they are and moving them forward to where they want to be. First thing, I would like to get into a grad school, but I also like to be a better person, to grow more, to, well, college is not about just learning things, it's about also, I think, growing as a person. And I want to be a better person than the day I walk in here. Our little tagline is, learn the law, live the faith. So we are very much interested in making sure that the students who graduate from our program have a very solid foundation in ethics uh, that's based on biblical principles. Bethany Lutheran College.